What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to part two of our Derby Day Classic pack review. First up, we had Real Madrid. Check that out if you haven't already. And now we have got Barcelona. So we've got Lewandowski, Ansu Fati, Araujo and Ter Stegen. So we did cover the Real Madrid boys just a little bit earlier in a video. Um, so check that out if you want. But for this one, we are going to be starting off with Lewandowski. So listen, you know, Benzema and Lewandowski, them type of players, I don't think are really suited to the way that the gameplay is at the moment. Yes, you can play them as target men. Yes, they will score goals for you. Yes, you know, you are going to score more often than not if you get a chance in front of goal because they've got such high stats and player skills. But I do think that they lose a lot of mobility. You know, they don't let you have a lot of freedom when attacking so with, with players when you compare them to the likes of Romario or Mbappe or somebody even like Son or somebody like that. You know, that is a little bit more uh, mobile. Actually, the, the pie at the moment is really good as well. Memphis Depay, that's out. He's an absolute beast at the moment. Um, so there are a lot of different options if you want to play up front, right? Now, last episode with... Uh, the Real Madrid pack in part one of this video and this club pack review or the Derby Day pack review, we did have Benzema as a deep line forward. Lewandowski is a goal poacher, right? So he's going to be trained up in a slightly different way. Um, and I'm going to explain a couple of little bits and pieces as to why I would train him this way, right? So we don't need to worry too much about Lewandowski's shooting, right? So we have a 95 rated version of him here. But I genuinely think having shooting at 90 is more than enough for this type of player, right? The, bi the biggest thing is, right, because we are going to be having Lewandowski make these, you know, really nice runs into the box, we want to focus on two or three areas that we just make him, you know, excel in, right? So instead of him being kind of like, you know, a passer and bringing others into the game, all we want to be doing with Lewandowski is, you know, being very direct with him, finishing off headers, finishing off tap-ins, finishing off rebounds, being in dangerous areas of the pitch because of him being a goal poacher, he's always going to be looking to get into the six-yard box. He's always going to be looking for rebounds if a ball is bobbling around the place in there. So all we want to have him as is kind of like a fast kind of offensive awareness um, kind of guy. We're not going to get it with the acceleration, so we need to pump up the offensive awareness as high as we possibly can. We also need to have a little bit of speed. We don't need much speed and stamina, but I think that speed at that 73 and 70 stamina is more than enough, and that opens up one more slot there to put into dexterity. So we want to get his finishing, his offensive awareness as high as possible, and then obviously we can focus on a couple of other bits and pieces as well, such as the dribbling, and of course the aerial strength as well. So 90 finishing, 93 offensive awareness with 80 jump and 84 header is quite decent. Ball control is 85. We are going to be a little lacking with the tight possession of the dribbling. But to be honest with you, you're not going to be bringing this player, um, you know, as your kind of main focal point going forward, I would say. Like you would with Mbappe or Romario, where you can play in multiple positions and multiple, um, you know, you can pass, you can shoot, you can dribble. This, with Lewandowski, all you're going to be doing is turning and shooting. That's genuinely it. Um, so that is how I would play him if you can. You know, I'd play him like Haaland or play him like somebody like that. Um, so that is my tips on Lewandowski. We've also got our Ter Stegen card here, which, again, look, he's not a bad player. Um, I do think that Ter Stegen, if I was going to be maxing him out, he's got 18 levels to go. And all I'm going to do is pump 5 into goalkeeper 1, 8 into goalkeeper 2, and, and 9 into goalkeeper 3 uh, stat uh, categories there right and then one into aerial strength as well if we want to do that he's got long throw low punt which is very very decent he's also got high punts so be careful of that as well but 90 reflexes the rest of his stats in the goalkeeping uh, category go to an 84 uh, an 85 and then the goalkeeper reach at 87 I mean you don't really need to reach at 87 it's just that it's uh it is something that kind of tracks up with the clearing. So you could actually, I would actually, lads, with the way that the game plays at the moment, I would nearly take that away in hindsight there. I would probably take that away. Um, and I would even probably put, pump one or two more into that. Like that's probably where I would go with it um, to leave that the clearing at 80 and the reach at 82 because he is, he, well, the reach then is another issue. I mean, yeah, I would probably keep it fairly similar to what I had it, you know, depending on what way you want to train him. I would say, look, goalkeepers are a dime a dozen, man. Once you have one of the top goalkeepers, you don't need to change him, apart from, you know, his form. And you're not going to be playing Ter Stegen with C form anyway. We've also got Ansu Fati, right? So Fati is the type of player that I definitely would like to use. I do have his legend version, which was released a while back. I think it's this version here. Um, yeah, this is the version that I have here of him. There is another version of him there, but this one of him here 
is probably the best version that they released. It is a monster version of him. Um, I know that there's one out there at the moment with the eFootball uh, players, but yeah, I definitely think this card is very decent if you compare him to the other one. Like, you know, it's very similar to the Barcelona pack that they review that they released, but this one is slightly better because of the 22, um, the 22 ratings here. I think is is kind of come up a good way because of the key stats, right? So even though he, this legend card only has twenty two, um, only has twenty two player levels, he does have a couple of unique player skills, and he also has plus four into dribbling, plus three into acceleration, and plus three or plus two into speed and balance. So you are going to be able to train him up a little bit better, but obviously this legend edition didn't have the play style like this one. So it's kind of again they're really balanced. The cards are really balanced. Um, I would say that Ansu Fadi, if you are looking to play him, this is kind of how you want to train him up. You know, max out his acceleration and dribbling. He's a rocket. Uh, he's so fast on the wing. I like to play him like cutting in. I don't really shoot that much with him, but I'd like to cut in a good bit with him and just, you know, have the option there to be able to kind of like, um, you know, score goals from like tap ins or like, you know, take on opponents. I like to bring him on if he's on B form for Neymar. I usually play Neymar on the left and then I later bring on Fatty or uh Sane that's who my two guys are at the moment um you know and then on the right wing then I'll have Dembele and uh Cavaradonna. so yeah I mean you could still use Rodrigo from the Real Madrid pack if you pack him but I definitely think that this Ansu Fadi is quite decent for you know a dribbler um and that's all you want like tight dribbling ball control and dribbling 88 and above speed and acceleration 88 and 94 balance 87 82 finishing as well this is on paper one of the best right or left winger cards in the game. It just depends on how you play and your play style. There's not going to be, you know, he's not going to win you games if you're not able to cut in with him and take on opponents and leave opponents for dead once you get past them with a, a one touch or a trick. So he is definitely one to watch and I definitely think he's probably the pick of the pack with this guy, Araujo. So I've been sleeping on this guy for quite a while. There's been multiple versions of him that we've seen i actually have this version of him here the barcelona pack and i haven't really given him a good chance but i do actually think that this player pack um does have one of the better versions of him obviously do, both of these start this guy is in 83 with 20 levels this guy's in 84 with 19 levels um this guy's got 90 obviously this one that's here at the moment that we're reviewing in the player pack has got 90 in team play style so you don't need to worry about any fits with managers or whatever he is on d form at the moment but he has got every player skill that you could possibly want for a defender. Heading, interception, blocker, area superiority, sliding tackle, and acrobatic clear. And then, of course, as well as that, he can play right back. So I definitely think, you know, if you're not worried about pace, you've got an absolute monster in your hands here with Araujo. Um, he's so good in the tackle. And I think that he's very similar to Rudiger, actually. The players this week are very similar. You've got Lewandowski versus Benzema. You've got this guy versus Rudy. Um, you've got Ansu Fati versus Rodrigo. And then obviously the only kind of outlier is Valverde, who I think is the best pick of the entire pack of the eight players. But other than that, I do think that he is a good center back. If you are a newcomer to the game, he's definitely a step up on what you probably have. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. Obviously the goalkeeper of the pack, Ter Stegen, this week is a bit of a pity. I would have liked to have seen maybe somebody else from Barca that hasn't featured yet, but then nearly every player has been out by now. So I suppose we could have got another version of Pedri, which would have been overkill. But that is it for me, lads. That is it for the Barcelona um, players, the four of them. I said I'd go in a little bit more in depth and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. So if you did, make sure and give me some feedback, suggestions for future videos, whether you like the longer ones. Um, and then obviously don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back quite soon with more videos. Peace.